In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make customized wooden signs and then also share my techniques and how you can make a little bit of extra cash by selling them. Hey everyone, my name is Tim Tognacci and welcome back to another episode of Casual Builds, the channel focused on bringing you beginner DIY and woodworking projects. I am super excited about today's video because I will be walking you through the entire process of how to make these customized wooden signs and at the end of the video, I'll uh, show you how I sell them because let's be honest, we all could use a little extra cash to put towards new tools for the workshop. So I will be using my CNC for this project. However, if you have the design, you can certainly print that out and stick it to a piece of wood and then use your router to carve it out as well. So without further ado, let's just jump into the project and uh, go make this sign. So I found this board in my wood pile. It's a two by 10 and I think it will work just fine. It's about 30 inches long and about a little over nine inches wide. So to start, I'm going to take this board, I'm gonna rip it down the middle and then I'm gonna resaw each half in half again. And then that will make up the panel that I'll glue together um, for the sign itself. And then I'll take it over to the CNC to cut out the design that I made for it. So these boards aren't particularly flat, um, so I'm gonna run them through the jointer just to get one flat surface, to which I'm gonna reference in the planer just to get them down to the same thickness. And by doing so, it'll make the glue up process that much easier. If you don't have a planer, that's fine. You can buy these boards from your store, all cut um, down to the exact same thickness, and then you could even just use a miter saw to chop them up and glue up the panels if you can't find something wide enough there. All right, now that we have the panel all glued up, all clamped up, now we just have to wait. I'm gonna come back tomorrow. We're gonna take the clamps off. We're going to trim it down to its final dimension, maybe run it through the planer if it can fit, and then head on over to the CNC to cut out the design. So my plan for this sign is that after it's done engraving on the CNC, is I'm gonna take some black spray paint and then spray in the part where it was engraved. And then once that has dried, I'm gonna take a torch and then char the top. However, one issue that I've ran into in the past is that when I do the spray paint, it kind of has some you know, bleeding off to the side. And then when I go to sand it, it really doesn't do much. So what I've found is that I'm gonna try adding a coat of shellac and hopefully that will act as a barrier so when the time comes to sand it, um, it should easily clean right up and then reduce the bleed. So that's what I'm gonna do. I've never done this before, so we'll see if it works or if I have to build another one.
My apologies for missing the first part of me spraying the paint, but I think you get the gist of it. So I'm gonna do one coat of black paint. I'm gonna let this dry overnight. I'm gonna come back tomorrow and hopefully the shellac will make it a little bit easier to sand everything down and uh, just let that color pop through. Um, then we'll torch it and then we'll just uh, apply a nice uh, top coat on there and then we'll call this sign complete. So I'll be right back. And that's it, the sign is now completed. I put two coats of polyurethane on top. Uh, the process with the shellac really helped when it came to uh, sanding down after I painted it. Um, I hope you found that valuable. And if you did, I would appreciate a subscribe and also a like button so you can let YouTube know that this was a good video and it should recommend it to others. So let's take a second and explain how I go about selling these. So I'm actually selling this for about $100, $110. Some of you might think that that's not enough. Some of you might think that's way too expensive. However, that's a price that worked for me and that's also something that you should consider when you're going about selling stuff that you're making in the workshop. The way that I go about selling these, there's a, a, a many different ways to, to do this. So you can have an online shop through your website, through Etsy, you could you know, speak and just sell to uh, family and friends. But um, I kind of have a close relationship with someone who owns a uh, a country store up in New Hampshire, specifically around Lake Winnipesaukee. That's what this actually is, if anyone was curious. And the owner of this store knows that I have a CNC so I can make customized wooden signs. So if there's anyone that comes into their store that's looking for something for their house up there, um, they know to contact me and they ask me for a price, send over kind of a design of what the customer is asking for. I send over a mock-up um, and then get the, the approval and then I start working on it. So. Um, you can do this yourself. So if there's any stores that are within your area of where you live that sell these type of signs, you obviously want to make sure that what you're making kind of aligns to the business itself and kind of the items that they already have in there. Go in there and just say what you do, maybe show a couple samples, bring a couple signs in there. Um, you know, for example, if it's a tourist town, you can just write the name of the town on a sign very easy and um, you know, put it in the store, 40, 50 bucks, it really depends. So um, you need to develop that relationship with those people in the, those stores. Um, that's kind of my process, the way that I take in order to sell these. And um, it's been, I don't do it all the time, but uh, opportunities like this come up and uh, it's a great way to just make a few extra bucks that you can put right back into the shop. So this is what I do. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions um, or if you wanna share your process and on how you make and sell items that you make in your workshop, please um, let me know below. Love to, love to hear from you in the comments. So uh, again, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.